Welcome back. John Kieran has been dubbed Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year, and his agency, System One, the Effectiveness Agency, has been voted Most Innovated Market Research Company more than any other, and it's true. John's here with us today with tips for translating the language of creativity into the language of business, AKA money. Welcome, John. <laughs> Welcome, Judy. I love this. You're really good at this. I was listening to the previous ones. Oh, it's thank very, you. Thank you. Look, we got a testimonial during the interview. Oh. That kills two birds with one stone, <laughs> saves time, makes us more money. <laughs> so you do just like that, live up to your name. That was the very simple. So John, tell us, why did you start System One? Okay. So I'd been a client at Unilever. I'd been in the advertising. Every time I came across quantitative market research, it was awful. I mean, it was never predictive. It had no useful sort of insights or diagnostics. And so it was like, time to reinvent this, okay? And, uh, and basically, I took psychology. So I've, the, the route has always been, take psychology and find clever ways to use it and build it into quantitative market research, which actually predicts things like election results, yeah. as well as that. We just do that for fun. But we did predict, you know, that Donald Trump would uh, not only win the Republican nomination, but he would then just beat Hillary. And that was 11 months before the 2016 election. We then predicted that Biden would just beat Donald Trump. And we will be doing it again in January, just for fun. And now, how early do you do the prediction? 11 because... months before. Wow. It's actually more predictive 11 months out than it is one month before the election. Interesting. So horse races, other types of sports <laughs> betting. Why are we sitting here and not on a yacht celebrating your, well, your technology? Horse racing, dog racing, all the rest. Let's say it's uh, a bit more random, but... Uh, but yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Well, the topic of this segment is helping companies translate the language of creativity into the language of business, meaning yep. money. Yep. How does System One do that? So measuring the marketing magic, basically what we do is we measure how people feel. So you show them an ad. I mean, our business is mainly predicting which ads are gonna be famous, which ones, I'm not allowed to swear, so I have to. <laughs> um, <laughs> Not that good, uh -huh. mainly not that good on a one to five star scale. So if I tell you that um, less than 1% of all ads, and we've tested 100,000, are five star. 4% okay. four star. And basically what we're doing, because I invented the first way to measure emotions mm -hmm. using a guy called Paul Ekman. He has seven universal emotions, happiness, surprise, contempt, anger. I always get asked by clients, there are five negatives here. There's only one positive happiness and surprises, you know, could be either. I'm like, yes, that's human emotions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we actually, you know, experience the, the negative ones rather more subtly, if you like, and often. So we just measure, here's an ad. Tell me how, how you feel by clicking on mm -hmm. which, which emotion. And then they, they click on surprise. To what degree are you surprised by this and why? So one of the other things I invented right at the beginning was something called the mind reader, which was a self-structuring way so people can type in their own answers. What three things come to mind when you think of Jeannie's show? And people say, obviously, fabulous, entertaining, brilliant. And then you just ask, basically, well, when you say fabulous, what did you mean? So it's like a sort of self-structuring thing based on evolutionary psychology. Yeah, so from the technology, then... What are you finding is the one mistake, the biggest one mistake that all brands tend to make that we're going to change the world with right now because you're going to share it right here on the show. <laughs> they bore people to death with their sort of rational message. Oh. <laughs> we are brilliant because blah, 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 buy me now. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Make people feel something, tell a story, Use character, use music, use humor. You know, you don't have to use all of those. But basically, think the film industry. That's basically the best ads are like mini films. They make you feel something. They tell a story. You know, they, they actually move you. Yeah. And then you remember them. The best ones, the five-star ads, people remember them for decades. I mean, you know, 
you know, if you think back to your childhood, you know, it's like, well, what ad do you, you know, or ads do you remember? Those are the ones that were brilliant. Yeah, that's and true. And they're still brilliant. Yeah, well, and now we've got the advent of AI, and AI is such yeah. a hot topic these days. What do you say to people that are considering using AI to create ads? Good idea, <laughs> bad idea? <laughs> really good idea, but it's experimental. I mean, I, I love an experiment, so, you know, I would say that. But I'm working with a guy called Noah Breer, mm -hmm. and he is Mr. AI Markovs. Brilliant guy in Brooklyn. Everyone seems to live in Brooklyn. This is where I've been staying. I love Brooklyn, <laughs> by the way. It's great. <laughs> because everyone meets in a bar. That seems to be where most business uh, meetings take place. Anyway, um, AI. So I've been working with him, and he set this challenge to the creative agencies to come up with a print ad for this fictitious brand called Vault. And it was a caffeinated, sparkling water. And then he got AI teams to come up with a AI-generated print ad. Mm -hmm. And he did a Turing test with creative directors to say, can they even spot which one's AI and which ones were created by real creatives? No, 50-50. So it was like coin cost. And then I tested all 11. And the best and the worst were AI-generated. So I think in the creative industry, what's going to happen is you still need that, if you like, man-machine combination. But creators will need to get really good at briefing the AI, push the button, 30 options, and then you have to select, curate, tweak, and go again. So true. It's, it's, it's such great information. Well, this has been a fabulous conversation, very inspirational, very educational. And your suggestions around successful brands are the way that I've built brands all along. So I feel kind of happy about that. <laughs> John, thank you so much for Give being on Lift Off. Really appreciate it. And thanks so much to all of our audience for watching. That's it for us on Lift Off today. You can follow us on social for great content, tips, and behind the scenes. We'll see you next time. The proceeding was sponsored by Lift Off Enterprises, LLC.